Did you know, e-commerce sales are set to skyrocket from $2.8 trillion in 2018 to $4.9 trillion in 2021. But warehouses are already struggling with workforce shortage. So how can they keep up? One solution is investing in warehouse technology, particularly in robotics and automation. Here's what you need to know. Robotics is a branch of engineering and science that deals with the design, construction, operation, and use of robots that can be programmed to do certain tasks. These robots can then replace humans by performing repeatable tasks in a consistent manner and can also be used in hazardous environments in place of humans. Automation, on the other hand, refers to sets of operations that can be performed with minimal or no human assistance. Investing in both technologies is your first step to achieving warehouse automation. But how can robotics and automation specifically help the warehouse? As we all know, warehouses are filled with repeatable, process-oriented, and error-prone operations. Robotics and automation can take over those repetitious tasks from humans, like picking, receiving, and put away, to achieve a more consistent, accurate, and productive warehouse operations. This will also improve employee engagement and retention rates by relieving employees from the dullest and most repetitive tasks. Instead, employees will tackle other roles such as customer service, maintenance, and operational analysis. This will result to a safer warehouse as automation keeps humans away from the heavy equipment, machineries, and all types of hazardous working environments like extreme cold and heat. For more information about warehouse safety, I will leave a link down below so you can know more about it. Robotics and automation will also allow the warehouse to have 24-7 operations, which is especially needed in today's age of rising e-commerce. Fully automated warehouses will require little to no human intervention, thus mitigating the industry's workforce problems. But realistically, today's warehouses are implementing partial automation. A famous example is Amazon's Kiva robots, which do goods to person picking. This vastly improves the warehouse's efficiency as it eliminates the picker's walking time because the robots are the ones going to humans with the goods. A newer implementation that we're seeing is Okada's warehouse robots and its picking system. You may call it the hive or the grid or even simply the machine. Okada's edge is that its picking system is scalable and modular. And this is only a taste of the different creative ways we can use robotics and automation to make our warehouses more efficient. As technology progresses, robots will be able to take over more warehouse processes, which will eventually lead to an always-on warehouse. And considering the inefficiency of some employee-dependent processes, rising compensation rates and safety risks, robotics and automation is becoming even easier to justify as the technology becomes less costly. But when should you adopt robotics and automation? According to the MHI Annual Industry Report 2018, Robotics and automation is currently one of the most widely adopted warehouse technologies. 34% of the 1,100 respondents said they're already using it, which says a lot about its worth to the industry. Then, for the S-curve, robotics and automation is on the steep slope of the takeoff stage. 65% of the respondents on the MHI report believe it can create disruption or provide competitive advantage. No doubt, this technology has demonstrated its ability to overcome significant obstacles in the warehouse. Then, for the technology adoption lifecycle, it is currently being adopted by the early majority. It has been adopted by 34% of the MHI respondents, which puts it over the chasm of debt. A lot of thought leaders and big companies have already adopted the technology, while the rest of the industry is following suit. It is estimated that in one to two years, more than half of the industry will be using robotics and automation, and it's showing no signs of slowing down. And lastly, for the hype cycle, we believe robotics and automation is on the slope of enlightenment. This may not be mentioned by Gartner, but it is essentially showing signs of being on this side of the curve. The industry understands the benefits of this technology, which results to wider implementation in warehouses. Robotics and automation is very close to being standardized and is actually one of the front runners of the warehouse digitalization movement. With the current state of the market, adopting this technology now will bring you the most benefits and will help you stay ahead of the competition. If you have questions about this technology or any warehouse concerns, you can head over to our website or contact us there. And if you enjoyed and learned from this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. So that's it for me. I will see you guys in the next one.